Hello, welcome to the channel. I just want to give uh, an update to the Gallant VR4 RS I have here. It's a 93 model, 92, 93 model, but uh, I had it for a couple years now. Uh, over the winter, I've done some maintenance on it. Uh, the first year I owned it, I just drove it really, took it to shows and stuff, but this year I've actually put some, this a winter, I've actually put some maintenance into it. Uh, last MOT I took it to and failed for a Gator bo uh, steering boot, boot, so I had to replace those. So I went ahead and replaced both of those with the factory Mitsubishi parts. And uh, I've done, I dropped the transfer case, the front transfer case, because there was a seal that was leaking in there. So I replaced both of those uh, and uh, changed the transmission fluid, the front transfer case fluid, changed some of the downpipe gaskets because they were bad because uh, I had to take it off anyway, drop the transfer case. And then I did the rear diff fluid uh, and changed the fuel filler hose. I got some pictures I'll throw in there now for you guys to see that I did all the stuff that I've worked uh, done. So, and uh, yeah, and uh, it hasn't run for basically four months, so I'm uh, gonna get to start it here in a few minutes and let it run for about 10 minutes. And then uh, hopefully, it's February now, so I don't really wanna take it out on the roads here in uh, England yet, because they, they sold. So, and, uh, this car is immaculate on the undercarriage, so I don't wanna do anything to jeopardize that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it for a spin once the weather gets better and uh, I can drive it. But uh, it's basically in my little tight garage here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll give it a run and see how she goes. Also guys, when you're replacing your transfer fluid, your differential fluid and all transfer case and transmission fluid, I highly recommend getting one of these. These things make the job so much easier, and less mess and everything. Just pump it, you hook it into your one of the fluid you're using. I used Redline. Uh, Redline uh, the MT90 for the transmission and the shockproof heavy for the transfer case and the rear diff. So yeah, it's a really good uh, good tool to use. I recommend you get them if you're gonna do it. A lot less mess. Also guys, what I did too is, which I noticed had a massive difference in, uh, cause my steering shift knob there, excuse me, shift knob had a lot of play in it. And uh, found a couple links online where guys were rebuilding these things. And I went ahead and rebuilt mine with all new seals from the factory, all new bushings and stuff in there. And it is solid now. I mean, it is, you can see there's no play in that. It's it's solid front and back so definitely recommend doing that it's a great upgrade a great thing to do just to, for a normal wear and tear item because uh it's a huge difference so over the over the summer last year through the nardi steering wheel on this video on that you can watch that it shows the installation and of the shift knob so yeah so let's walk around the car right now i'm going to start it up here in a few minutes and let it run for about 10 minutes so we get to that now. All right, I'm gonna start her up now. Uh, I said it's been sitting for about four months, so well, I've been doing the maintenance on it. But uh, let's get it to run and see how she goes. Well, that will run great. Uh, let it run for about 15 minutes. Ran great. Uh, started right up. Idled perfect. Revved it up a few times. Super happy with that. So I'm probably going to run it uh, next week again. Start it back up again. Let it run for another 15 minutes and uh, get it going. So I've uh, got a lot of events going to this year. So if you guys want to see the footage from those, I've got going to, there's three car shows, big ones, and there's a few more that I haven't uh, really finished scheduling yet, but I've got three that I'm going to so far. Two in one in May, and two in June. So uh, I'll be taking the cars to those. A big Jap Fest shows here in America. In, excuse me, in the UK. So, and uh, I'm going with the Evo guys, the Evolution Club that's in the UK here. So there'll be lots of footage of that and uh, footage of this car. So if you want to check it out, subscribe, like what you see, then subscribe. All right, guys. Catch you next time with the Glock.